Is Ed Sheeran stepping away from music? Well, according to the Sunday Mirror, there's a good possibility he's planning to take a long break to help out a charity shop in his hometown of Suffolk. Rumor has it the 24-year-old is also in discussions to set up a new youth center in town as a way to give back to the old youth club that he credits with getting him started in music. It wouldn't mark the first time Ed made a significant donation to local causes. He once donated his entire wardrobe to good causes to help raise cash for charity. Stuff ranging from Ralph Lauren to Nike that he wore on photo shoots, videos, and to the Grammys. Still no word from Ed's camp regarding his rumored music break. But if it's true, get ready for the sound of millions of hearts breaking all over the world. It's been a year since Joan Rivers passed away, but her staff of over two decades is still being paid. According to the New York Daily News, Melissa Rivers is obeying her mother's last wishes and continuing to take care of Joan's former housekeeping staff and her longtime hair and makeup team. Rumor had it that if you worked for Joan, you were more like family. She paid a good salary, paid for your kid to go to college, and it was a job for life. Melissa has continued paying for the staff's health care and helped everyone over the past year without complaint. She even regularly checks in with Joan's assistant of 20 years to see if she needs anything, because it's what Joan would have wanted. Since the comedian's untimely death, Melissa has sold her mother's four-bedroom Upper East Side penthouse to Middle Eastern royalty for a staggering $28 million. V Festival was the highlight of this weekend with stars including Tom Jones and Sam Smith on the lineup. Set both at Highlands Park and Western Park, acts such as Ellie Golding and Ella Eyre performed before being whisked away to perform again the following day. Labyrinth put a stamp on the weekend by proposing to his girlfriend on stage at Western Park. And of course, we were all excited to see Calvin Harris, including comedian Russell Kane. Yeah. When Calvin Harris goes, I met you last summer. I'm the first one with my hands in the air and my neon, my neon strip being waved about. Got- it seems Calvin also had a great time captioning this epic picture. Madness in Chelmsford last night. Amazing crowd. Great festival. If we had to be stuck in a post-apocalyptic wasteland with someone, we'd be happy to spend it with Z for Zachariah star, Chiwetel Ejiofor, which is why he's our hashtag MCM Man Crush Monday. The actor showed us how talented he was with his performance in 12 Years a Slave. And now in Z for Zachariah, he's winning the heart of Margot Robbie. Why are you doing the work, my hand? Can't drive this? Ran out of gas. Pumps don't run without electricity. Oh, you can get it to work manually. Hey! It worked! Forget a man who's good around the house. How about a man who's good around the end of the world? Unfortunately, in this movie, some bozo named Chris Pine shows up and might cause a love triangle issue or something. But we know who we'd be gunning for it if it came down to it. Our hashtag MCM Man Crush Monday, Chiwetel Ejiofor.